Hello and a very warm welcome to the DSTL TV from the Touch Alliance here on YouTube. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If it's free, follow us, work together with us, join the football family and join our young commentators who are here every Friday chatting their show and talking about Premier League and grassroots football and sometimes school work. Anyway, you should be back hopefully this Friday. We'll keep you informed on that one. Now you're wondering why, why am I here on a Wednesday? Well it's been a busy old week hasn't it, you know, because if you look on social media, on BBC, on ITV, on Sky Sport, it's all about getting behind our referees. Brilliant, absolutely fantastic. This is what we want, this is the message we have portrayed since 2003, going into our 20th year. It's music to our ears, it's great because you know People are getting recognised for the work that they're doing. Look at this. Look at our ref spec bands. You've got to be an elite referee to have one of these. You won't get the whistle, but you can on them. And look at the message that gives. Loud and clear. T-shirts, ref spec. And here we go. We have the Football Association, the PFA, supporting us. And they're already supporting us for next season. Now, the PGMOL and the Premier League have been supporting us for several years. It's been brilliant. Mike Riley being a superstar, he'll be stepping down next season, I think it is. Um, and we have Howard Webb, who will be taking over the hot seat. Now, Mike has been working with us together with Don't Cross the Line, voluntary organisation, not-for-profit organisation, a CIC, which is the next best thing to a charity, community interest company. And we have been working very, very hard and also with the National Lottery as well. And we're lucky enough to get lottery grants to help us to keep the legs of this studio going, work in grassroots football free of charge, but also put all this equipment out to help our young commentators on a Friday evening. And that will be extended as well very soon. But we give you no more news in the meantime. Thank you very much to the National Lottery, who are absolutely brilliant. Now, they've been helping us support us in the work that we've been doing over the years. And no more, no more, no more so than our green cards. We're going to reintroduce this yet again. Now, the green card is an award card because what we do is punish bad behaviour, don't we? Yes, we do. So why not rewards for good behaviour? You know, it's simple as that. Now, junior football leagues, we're looking, we'll have our volunteers out and about, and if you're lucky enough to have us on your touchline, we'll be watching the teams, the way they respect the referee, respect the referee, the way they behave on and off the field of play, and what the parents are like, the coaches, everyone's involved on it. And to get one of these is like gold dust. And what it does, it's going to help you to win an award, because the more cards that you get and hand in, to the likes of myself or one of our volunteers, it helps you, yes, it helps you to win some sort of awards, which we'll, de we'll declare soon. But the green card is a fantastic award and it's going to be used and we will pass that out at the end of every game. Some referees might even help us and go over to it and go, there you go. And I'm sure there'll be quite a few referees who will want to take this up because if they show respect to the referees, they want to give something back. And that is a nice little gift because you see some teams going out there trying to award a referee certificate or shake the hands of the referee, thank them for the game. That is brilliant. That's the way grassroots football should be organised. Otherwise, otherwise, yes, if it's not, that's what could lead to. No referee, no game. And obviously we trademark this, so we see a lot of organisations using it, even with the hashtag, doesn't matter. Please get in touch with us if you want to use it on your website or if you want to use it in your posters, anything like that, because we do know there's quite a few using it and we haven't even given any permission out. So could you get in touch with us, please? It's only, you know, a nice friendly message. That's all we're trying to do. Get in touch with us and tell us we're using it or what you're using it for and how you're going to use it, please. Thank you. Okay, that's number two. Uh, we'll have our kids, by the way, incidentally, and what we want to try and do, we'll be at the North Liverpool JFL and hopefully the Walton Curtail on Sunday, and we're going to try and get as many teams holding these up as we possibly can, because this is a strong message to support your referees. And we'll take a photograph, if that's okay, 
everyone agrees with it, and we'll put it on social media, and we'll name your team who's supporting the referees. And the referees have got proof then, saying, look, you had a photograph with me, you're supporting us, can we get support out and about, please? If you don't mind, yes, you can. So, North Liverpool JFL, hopefully the committees, and I can't see them why they won't stop us, will help us, because we won't try and hold the games up. We'll get them done ASAP. Photograph done, I support our referee. That's all it's about. Support the card, support your ref. Get behind them. Kids will love it. And obviously we don't ask you to hold these up, but remember the poster campaign that we were doing? That was our Respect Awareness Weekend last year. We're doing it again, there you go. Don't bully the ref. That's a hard word, that. Bully the ref. Now, no one likes the title of a bully. So, we don't want to give you the title of a bully. So get behind the work that we're doing. We're going into our 20th anniversary with Don't Cross the Line. It's a community interest company, which is the next, be next best thing to a charity. Okay, we want to discuss the reason why, and again, don't forget, there you go, look at your whistle there, referees. We want to discuss, discuss the ref cams. Yes, the ref cams. You've seen it all over social media. Um, I put a little um, post out last night, it's 100% behind, and people want 100% support this at the moment. I've seen no negativity towards the ref cam. And who am I to say, no, I can have my opinion. Do I agree with them? Yes, now we've got these, as I said today on Radio City when I was interviewed, we've got traffic wardens, we've got police officers walking around with rep cams. The reason they walk around with them as well, because obviously they're protected. Don't forget who's watching them. If you're in the city centre, CCTV are watching every move that you're making as well. So we're getting used to these cameras now, wherever we go. We walk around, there's a camera there, the iPhones are out now. You could be on a photograph that you don't even know about, because people are filming everything. Everything, even your shopping, you're going out there, Christmas shopping, look, what's on the shelves, you're picking your food, you're sending, well there you go, they're out everywhere, so I don't think it's going to be stopped and maybe that's why the uh, FA have decided to do them. Now your ref cam are going to be encrypted, believe me, honestly, it's not your GoPros, it's not your iPhones, I'm going to wear that this weekend because now they're going to be trials next year, they're going to be trials on the amateur game, the adult games, that's where they're going to be trialled. Don't know what leagues, I haven't seen it yet, but well, I'm sure there'll be plenty of leagues putting the name forward to trial these cameras out. Now, when I say encrypted, I should imagine, this is my honest opinion, this won't be for the referee to go back and go, what footage have I got? I'm going to watch that today. Absolutely zilch, that's my honest opinion. Safeguard matters, data protection. Even that referee won't see what he or she has filmed during that game. It'll just go direct to the governing body, could be the FA, could be the welfare office, whatever it may be, that's where it's going to go if there's an incident. If not, it'll be delete or forward. That's what I'm imagining. That's what they're working on because they're not ready as yet. Now, I, I, I've heard referees saying, I'm going to wear my GoPro, I'm going to go out this weekend. Well, you can't because obviously at state of protection, you don't want to cause problems between yourself the, the county FAs, the FA, and even the leagues and parents, please, they're not really established yet, and I should imagine there's going to be some good technology gone into these phones, because it really is sophisticated. Because if there's an incident, it's got to capture everything that has gone on, if it's on there in the first place. It's not going to be your likes of your iPhones, look what I captured. We're seeing it all now. We're seeing people putting photographs on social media and probably without those iPhones you couldn't arrest these people, you could see them, they're all witness. People are starting to film and take notice. People probably believe, I know there's a lot of people just like to film anything that goes on and just think, look what I've got, I want to be faced on social media with this. That was my footage. I know that's going to happen and we know what's happening and obviously they don't like you to use iPhones, don't like you to use cameras, you do need permission. Um, we go out there, we get signed permission, if we ever go we'll water the managers, the parents, everyone will give us permission and that is the way to do it. You need to get the permission of the both sets of parents, the referee, the committees, if you are going to be filming. And unfortunately that's the way it should be at the moment, but I do see loads of iPhones out. Okay, we've got to go into our 20th, got to go, we are going into our 20th year. 
Now that's going to be our 20th anniversary. And yet again, we can only thank the PGM of well, the Premier League, Mike Riley, all the team there, all the referees, officials who have been wearing our T-shirts for several years now, supporting the work that we do, supporting our referees within the grassroots game. And it's not just supporting the kids, the referees in the grassroots game, it's the kids as well. Because the reason we put, support the referees is because they're the ones in the middle, they're the target, they're the ones that people are vent their anger at, they're the irate parents, spectators, they're the ones who are suffering because they're blowing the whistle and giving a decision. They shouldn't have to suffer, not in a million years. So we need your support to support us. And thank you very much to the PGMOL, who are the officials wear our t-shirts during the warm-ups at the Premier League grounds. What more could we ask for? And Mike Riley's been supporting us when he steps down. I'm sure Howard Webb is going to carry on the great way and support us as a CIC. Don't cross the line. Voluntary organisation. We're only volunteers. We're not professionals, but we're doing a fantastic job. And we get football's government bodies supporting the work we do. And now the way it's gone is a society that's making things different. I don't know why is so many incidents cropping up. <coughs> People have come back from COVID. It's gone way since then. It's... The energy bills, people are stressing, got not getting jobs, people are fighting things. It, it, it could add to it, but again, no matter what you say, there's no excuse for verbally abusing a referee or attacking a referee. That needs to stop, or anyone else, by the way, even a committee member. Threats out of the question. Just get on with it and play your game of football. Enjoy the kids' football. Encourage the kids. No one is taking any passion away from the game. If you've got the passion, let it flow, but please, not verbally and uh, abusive towards a referee, showing aggressive behaviour, that is a no-go, and that's where your leagues are gonna take action, big action. <clears throat> and the leagues that I'm working with, absolutely brilliant, North Liverpool, JFL, Walton Kertel, Brook League, any, there's far too many to mention, Edge Hill League, they have their days. Everyone has their day where we have some irate, parents, spectators, but the committees are strong, the committees are after them, and the committees will make the decisions, and straight away, no matter what you say, if it's only a minority causing the problems, then get them out, ban them, suspend them, let the county FAs deal with the problem then, and really tell them that you don't want them back in the league, that's the message that we need to portray, because the kids are suffering, the referees are suffering, we don't need to suffer anymore. We just need to support the work that we do and the committees do and yourselves do as well. Everyone wants to see the kids enjoying football and that's all I want to see as well. <clears throat> and on behalf of the Don't Cross the Line, that is the way, the message that we portray. Everyone should work together. And as I say, the ref cams, I don't think they'll be brought in and I don't believe they should be brought in for small side of football because if they're brought in for that, then I think grassroots football is finished. Yes, we do know that we have incidents. If we do, that is when your strong committees will step in and act accordingly straight away, and I know that is what's happening. But again, these leagues have had their problems. They'll still have their problems, but if we all work together, we can solve these problems, and we need to get the message out. Us on the touchline, passing out leaflets, us on the touchline, telling them, what you can win for these kids, special awards, fair play awards, teams should I say. And we want to keep our referees within the game. It's as simple as that. Don't we? Respect. Look at your whistles. This is brilliant. Referees, get them on. Anyway, a massive thanks, as I say, to all the government bodies who are helping us do the work that we're doing. Um, please, if you haven't already, tune in. Prime time, four, five and six. Well, I'm saying that now, you probably missed half. It's a bit of news. I don't know what they're putting on. Haven't heard it myself, even though I spoke the words. Don't know what they're going to do, because sometimes you start thinking, what did I say there? Did I say that? Well, let's hope not. Let's hope. When they put it together, it sounds good. And we are supporting our referees. One incident is far too many. Let's get together at this weekend. Make sure that everyone goes out and plays fair and supports our referees and each other and especially the committees, take your hats off to them because the work they do sometimes doesn't get the credit that they deserve. They're putting your fixtures on. They're the league secretaries, fixture secretaries, 
doing a brilliant job and probably not getting a life either. So you've got to shake the hands of those committees as well for giving your kids a game and hopefully you'll have a referee as well. Well, there you go. I hope you've enjoyed part of the show. I'm sure you've got things to say. One more thing I should say is the Merseyside Youth League that has cancelled their game. I've been asked by County FAs, I've been asked by myself as well because people are getting in touch saying are all games off on Merseyside. No, that's where you get mixed up. It's one league who've cancelled the fixtures and support of committees and referees. This, every other league on Merseyside will go ahead this weekend providing the weather permits and there's no big changes. If there is big changes, I'm sure you'll see it on social media and through the Liverpool County FA. So if you've got your games on this weekend, weather permitting, go and enjoy them. Show loads of respect on and off the field of play. Let the kids play and let the referees officiate. What more could you ask for? That is what grassroots football is all about. So just enjoy it. And we'll be back on Friday evening with our young commentators. In the meantime, put your feet up, relax, enjoy the game today and enjoy your weekend fixes when they come also. Be fair and give loads of encouragement. Have a great night.